All right, here are the parts that we're going to put up. Uh, we're going to put onto the carburetor. Uh, first of all, we're going to start with this part here. This is a paper gasket. This is all these parts are OEM Husqvarna parts that I ordered. All right. Um, some of the parts are original to the carburetor but I just bought the um, rebuild kit so we're going to take this surface right here and all, also another thing is that I took the needle and seat out right here and all these components that are uh, retained by this small screw right here. I took all those out, cleaned them out with carb cleaner, which you can find at like automotive stores, stuff like that. So we're going to take this, put it on there like this and make sure that all of the holes and everything line up. Um, I'm going to refer to my drawing because I want to make sure that everything's right. So we're going to put it in this orientation right here. All right. The next thing is we're going to take this this is the diaphragm. We're going to put that on. Right there. Alright. Now I'm just putting that there for reference for now. Uh, another thing that you can do is take a screwdriver and sort of line up your holes like that. Alright. I'm going to set that aside for now. Uh, every every once in a while my computer goes off into uh, sleep mode or whatever so I gotta come over here and restart it again alright the next thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna take this part right here another paper gasket refer to your uh, drawing and we're going to have to take, next, we're going to have to take this part. This is one of the original parts that came off the carburetor. I took a carb cleaner and put it into this tube right here. Cleaned it all out. Um, you, a lot of times you will find pieces of small uh, wood chips and stuff like that in there. All right, the next thing we're going to do is take the next part, which is this one right here. This is a small plastic piece, and it's got flexible valves on it, which are shaped like this right up here. Right up in there is, is one of the valves. All right, we have to take that, put that in the correct orientation. It's got to go underneath this part. So I'm going to turn this over in a minute. All right, the next part we're going to have to put on is this paper gasket. All right. You got to put it in the right orientation. All right, that'll go underneath the previous part that we put on. All right, and then I'm trying to make it how the illustration is. Uh, this is a parts list that I have. All right, the next thing we're going to do is take this original part from the carburetor again has a tube right here I put carburetor cleaner in that 
We're going to take that, put it on the bottom. All right, now we have some somewhat of a sandwich here. Oops, be careful. And make sure that this tube is in the right orientation as per your illustration. All right, now we're gonna take this small screw here. This is another original part that came from the original carburetor. This is a Zama carburetor. Take that. Put that in the center. All right? These parts all have to go together. Make sure it goes through the correct hole. And then slowly feed that down in there with your screwdriver. All right? got that. Just do it lightly. Don't screw it down all the way because we've got to take these original screws which are right here get it to focus there. Take these original screws. I'm going to put two of them in. Why? Well because we've got to have everything in the correct place so we're using those sort of a, as alignment tools. Okay, put those up in there. Try to hold it with your fingers. And then screw this down a little bit further. I'm just going to screw it down tight for now. Now this is aluminum that you're screwing into, so you got to be careful you don't get it too tight and uh, strip the screws. So use reasonable force to, to put the screw down. All right, the next thing is hold your two screws right here. Hold those with your fingers on, on the bottom. All right. Now we got to put this whole thing together. This bent tube, this small bent tube, which is bent at sort of a 90 degree angle, we got to put that so that it is facing these adjustment screws like this. Put everything together. Now I'm going to turn everything over. Alright, so we have it all like this. This is the correct orientation. Alright, now these are combination of Phillips and straight screws. You can either use a Phillips or a straight. going to thread it in slowly. Just sort of work back and forth. Get it threaded in correctly. Wiggle stuff around to make it work. This takes time and a little bit of patience. If you don't have much patience, let somebody else do it. All right, the next thing is I'm going to, I got one screw in. Now I'm going to work on this other one. I've only got this one very loose here. All right, thread it in carefully. Now 
Now make sure that everything goes down correctly. All right. I'm going to take all these screws out because I think I got it in wrong. The two small holes up here in the corner, they have to be oriented close to these adjustment screws. Alright. I'm going to take them, put them like that. With the diaphragm here, just a minute. The diaphragm is going to be on the outside with a paper gasket underneath of it. And get these two small holes lined up with everything right here in the corner. Lined up with this uh, these adjustment screws right here. Alright. Remember we took this part right here and uh, put the screw in the center right there and this curved uh, tube right here that also has to go where the adjustment screws are at right here okay so we're going to take these put this like this and there's a small pin in this corner right here. Uh, take that and put it in this corresponding hole right up here. Okay, sort of like that. And you might have to keep it repositioning your gaskets into the right orientation. Now everything should look just like this. See where this curved tube right here, the short, short one? It is near to these adjusting screws. Now we're going to take one of these screws, put it in there carefully. Don't go fast on this stuff, just keep working at it. I'm only going to put in two screws for now. Turn them in real slow. Like that. All right, then put in your other two screws once you get the other ones, the first one started. Just turn them in real slow, like that. Okay, and now I've got all the screws in. Remember this center screw right here? There it is. It's protruding through this aluminum part. So we're going to take these, torque them down. I'm going to go in a crisscross pattern. Just do it evenly and slowly. We're going to start up here again. Slowly get it to the right torque. And remember, you're screwing into aluminum. This whole carburetor is aluminum, so be careful. By the way, this screwdriver is a number one. A number two will not work. Use a number one screwdriver. It's 
slowly get them torqued. I'm taking, taking my time going round and round and round on these screws. All right, now I've got them fairly tight. Try it again. A little bit more. Remember, you're screwing into aluminum, not steel. So take your time. I did not put any um, compound of any kind on the gaskets. If you want to put some sort of uh, Permatex or some other uh, type of compound, uh, gasket type of material, uh, you can do that. It's up to you. Right now I think I've got it tight. 